Well, hello, humanity. Before we get started, like I do on my videos, fake war garments, fake war religions, fake education system, all to control the slaves, all right? So if you follow any religion, you are a puppet of the fake system, a slave. If you like voting red and blue, you are a slave of the fake system. If you think the education system is teaching you what intelligence are, you are a slave of the fake system. Never confuse the education system with nature intelligence. You need to learn this, what they don't want you to know, all right? And for all you religious people out there, I'm not an atheist, all right? Because the education system is fake. All the scientists in the world are brainwashed like you guys. I'm above whatever fictional word. All languages are mind control. The people who rule over you created languages to divide and conquer. I, my first language is nature right i observe nature i am nature i know how to prepare for the solo cycles for the events of earth all right so this has to do with solar engineering chemtrails a lot of people who watch my videos and people who i talk to they know they think chemtrails is contrails i said no it's not it's a lot of people out there telling you and here's the video of the lady who who worked for the military with the government Telling you, all right. So let's play that video. A witness, we're going on. Can you give us the military veteran, right? Yes, I was in the U.S. Air Force for nine years. Wow. And you came out and blew the whistle on geoengineering things that you a witness were going on. Can you give us the real nutshell? Absolutely. Basically, I have heard of what many people know as the term chemtrails. Um, and I worked in a job called bioenvironmental engineering, and I figured, I thought that was insane. And why would we do something like that? Modify the weather by using hazardous materials in our atmosphere. So, and actually the process of trying to debunk it or disprove it, I realized it was actually coming right out of my office as I was one of the people that was approving the chemicals. And um, it really shook the core of my oath. And I did a lot of sampling, a lot of investigation, and I blew the whistle and I got out and I've now used my credentials, my oath and my powers for good to help people understand it's very real. It's now openly admitted. There are multiple forms of weather modification. I specifically found the one of stratospheric aerosol injection and um, collectively around the globe, we have to understand that it is now being admitted because they're saying it's combating climate change. While the climate change we need to be worried about is man-made climate engineering, also known as geoengineering. And when you say you had chemicals being pumped into the air, what kind of chemicals are they putting out that rain down on humanity, basically? Nanoparticulate metals, like you had different sulfates and barium and stromium. Uh, I, I know it's probably changed over time. I know they use silver iodide for certain things. But these are, the, the odd part of it was the quantities that I saw them coming in, the form that they were coming in, and it's the same type of materials that I was trying to engineer out of the workplace to substitute with safer materials. And when you notice that the, what's called the safety data sheet, the information about a chemical of what personal protective equipment's wear, how do you dispose of it, how do you pack it to ship it? When key information is missing, I ask questions. And my questions led to demonization, and I knew I found something I shouldn't have. That's insane. So these metals are basically toxic for the humans, I would presume? or Yes, because it also has aluminum. aluminum. And a lot of people will tell you, well, these things aren't horrible in small quantities. It's not small quantities because when you are putting things above us, the dissipation rates are dependent on weather and climate, but it's getting into the food. It's getting into the soil and around the world, wastewater treatment plants, when it comes to pharmaceuticals or these toxicants is what they're called, they are not able to filter them out. So if you're growing organic food, you know, it's, we're going to go back to the plexiglass barriers on our plants. I mean, it's horrible. That's why you can ban it anywhere. We've had states, uh, states in the United States ban it. And that is great to get the ball rolling, but people really need to wake up to it, irrespective of any political party. It's not okay. And you're seeing a huge increase in neurodegenerative issues like Alzheimer's. Uh, it's really difficult for people with respiratory issues and asthma. And people are wondering why they have allergies 24-7, 365. And I like what you said about that climate change or the, the change we have experienced in weather. Often we can't dis... Uh, connect that from these geoengineering activities. Do you want to say something more about that? I mean, how do we feel that? Is that is there proof or so that that is definitely coming from that? Yes, uh, there are 
places that openly admitted it. Remember Dubai? And then when people got upset, they retracted it, but the can was already opened. And the issue is, I know this sounds silly, but when you watch movies with time change, they say if you do something and something changes, it changes the ripple throughout time. If you are modifying the weather, you are messing with Mother Nature. And meteorology is a very, very thorough study. And I do know a lot of it because of my profession of plotting hazards. But it does not make sense when you are altering nature where things are not naturally supposed to occur. We have mass flooding in California, and we have a system called HARP that is in uh, the United States. And the same people who demonized me five, ten years ago are now going, wow, because they're finding it's openly admitted in all of our U.S. documents. The U.S. is absolutely not the only country doing it. Wow, that's crazy. Well, thank you very much. Military veteran, right? So, this is for the smart people out there. It's been my page and studying. So, chemtrails, solar engineering, that's what I call it. Um, it's actually to reduce the carbon emissions. For example, like, you know how she mentioned water waste, uh, treat, water treatment plants, that's what I work at. I work in seven different ones, all right? And that's true. We cannot, you know, the carbon that we get in the waste and everything, we can't eliminate that. That goes back into nature. It, it's a cycle. We can never eliminate carbon. But those chemicals in there that they're using, that she mentions, it reduces, it, it mixes, it keeps everything balanced. It's like a balance in Earth, okay? It's just a balance. But it's not good for humans, all right? But what's, why is the reason they're doing this, the government? Let me show you. So what does high carbon activity does? It makes everything bigger again, right? Bigger trees, uh, oxygenated brain, elongated brain. You get it? So like I said, fake world governments, fake world religions, fake education system, all to control the slaves. But the slaves love the lie. They don't love the truth, all right? The thing is, even the princess of China has been brainwashed. They got this soul cover up, these people who rule the world, all right? And when I study and study more, 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 you know, they have to erase the bad memories from the 2,000 years of darkness, the Ice Age. No sunlight, okay? So it's the Ice Age. All the volcanic activity is off. You get it? No volcanic activity. Ice Age. No more carbon emissions. Everything gets smaller again, all right? Put that through your head. Take the notes. Know what I'm telling you is the truth. So what you see here is the wheel above. Our yellow sun orbits the Milky Way galaxy in 12,000 years. That's 144,000 months. So the stars are the shows at once, not the Jews. <laughs> Religious people are cuckoo, all right? So we're right here in number four. We're heading into the fire age. But because of this red sun solar system awakens the seven is one of the seven constellations with sun. She comes in every millennium, every 1,000 years, awakens the seven suns she's the eight suns orion holds two suns remember ice age everything gets frozen all the volcanic activity is off right now all the volcanic activity is on so those chemicals that they're drawing is in my opinion my observation is reducing the carbon emissions keeping, keeping everything balanced balanced nature so things don't grow bigger everything's gonna grow bigger the crocodiles the sharks humans everything by 6.5, all right? You get it? By the age of Gemini, the fire age. Return to Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. And also take millions of years like the fake education system teaches you. They have to tell you the truth, fictionalized. Millions of miles. Each age is of a thousand years. One is like a thousand. Remember, all Bibles are allegory, sun stories, philosophia mixed with science. You get it? So atheists, but religious people call atheists are there. The atheists are indoctrinated, brainwashed, like all religious people. It's a fake science. Real science is Earth. I'm above humanity. Okay, I'm gonna call myself an atheist. I'm a genius. Okay, you can call me a genius. Now I always keep in mind those chemicals are ain't good for us, but it's reducing the carbon emissions to keep everything small. So study, use your brain. And inform your friends, all right? Is the government good or bad? 99% of humanity love them. Except the 1% this. I don't like him. Bye-bye. <laughs>